So today we're going to be taking a look at a scenario where Poland has a civil war. Now, continuing on with the civil war series, we've already done Germany and France as well as the United States. Today we're going to be doing Poland. Now, I've been doing a lot of Poland themed videos lately, and I'm not sure why. But yeah, they're going to be having a civil war today. I thought of an interesting scenario to kind of play out here. This one's going to be kind of unrealistic and it's going to have really nothing to do with like politics. Now, the first two videos with Germany and France, those had to do with like the politics in the country, but this one, this is just going to kind of be for fun. So do keep that in mind while you're watching, but if you do enjoy this video, make sure to leave a like on it and subscribe to the channel if you're new all support is greatly appreciated and yeah let's go ahead and just jump straight into this scenario so poland here is a uh, country here in eastern europe Eastern, i'd say like well it's an eastern european country but it's also kind of central in my opinion but if a civil war to play out in poland it would be pretty interesting considering they're a member of nato they're a member of the eu the un of course but if you are new to the channel usually i don't like to include those alliances and i'm not going to be doing that here today but uh let's just go ahead and say the polish government makes some interesting decisions which don't really garner the support of the polish citizens and unrest within the country starts to kind of rise up and people are very unhappy specifically Specifically, some citizens of certain ethnicities are unhappy with the Polish government's nationalistic policy and rebellions start to break out, specifically over here in what used to be Germany. Now with this breaking out, the uh, Polish army is of course going to mobilize against it and soon they're going to begin fighting. But little do they know, there's also some more distrust and disloyalty in the government. And another faction breaks off, this time being more pro-Russian slash pro-Belarus and Ukrainian. These guys, they're more pro these guys, even though this is also sort of these guys, it doesn't matter. They're more pro eastern i guess so with this uh certain countries are going to begin to take certain sides in this war like specifically the germans of course are going to support the germans in poland and these guys are going to be supporting the green team so with this supplies start to flow in and the rebellions become much much more stronger so now these factions within poland have officially declared their independence and officially declared that they're an open rebellion and that they're going to be fighting off poland in order to reclaim their proper lands now proper lands who knows what this actually means like how poland was split in world war ii maybe or just like the lands of the weimar republic or maybe just you know what russia used to have it could vary but who knows all i know is that poland is going to be fighting a civil war now so pro-german troops quickly move across and connect up with their area over here which was once prussia they cut off poland from the baltic sea and hence strengthen themselves and weaken the polish government we see the pro-eastern polish rebellion start to move out and towards warsaw now at this point the polish army is probably a little bit dysfunctional since it's like an all-around war so there isn't like a particular front you're fighting on all sides so the polish government is going to organize its military to mostly focus in over here in the east and pushing back these guys because well warsaw is like right there and they don't want to lose that so polish troops begin to push back the purple rebellion now at this point some countries are going to start declaring their loyalty to certain sides so germany declares its loyalty to the german rebellion and belarus ukraine and russia declare their loyalty to the pro easterners now poland isn't going to be alone here of course so now poland of course isn't going to be alone here they're also going to have czechia and slovakia on their sides they'll also gain the support of france as well as romania so these guys aren't officially in the war yet if they even do join they're just supporting the certain sides so germany being on the red team is supporting the germans they are supplying them they're giving them volunteers etc etc but they aren't officially sending their own army into poland speaking of sending your army into poland that's exactly what these red team troops are doing as they cross the border and now push further into polish territory we see the purple team kind of revitalize itself and push back out this time connecting up with the red team at this point uh, poland is having major ptsd because this has happened not once but twice at this point and uh they're gonna kind of like call for help and this is what i was talking about earlier how they haven't officially joined well polish allies have now just officially joined czechia and slovakia joined the war as well as romania as well as france surprisingly enough now this isn't very popular in france but what you gonna do about it have a civil war because i already did that anyway with the addition of supplies and troops going to poland now we are going to see a major counteroffensive. poland is able to push back the germans in the south whilst czechia invades that area we have slovakia pushing into the eastern poland rebellion I really got to come up with better names. But now we have another major event taking place, and that is Germany joining this war. Now, this is going to be interesting because Germany is obviously going to be able to outpower Czechia and Slovakia and even Poland to this point due to the civil war weakening them. Now, France, on the other hand, they won't be able to do much about it other than set up like big defensive barrier right here. And that's exactly what they do. So there's really going to be no like major fighting on this front right here. But elsewhere, yes, a lot of death. We have the Germans pushing into what was once Sudetenland and taking over Prague. Czech 
Frankie manages to hold out though, and Sabakia, of course, is going to send reinforcements to help out their once unificated, unificated? You know, they were once in a union, Czechoslovakia. And from there, they were able to push up and reclaim what was once theirs. Now, the red team is offering peace to Poland here and saying, hey, if you just let us get what we want, we will leave you alone. And surprisingly enough, Poland says no which is probably the stupidest thing they could have done because now it's not looking too great. The purple team manages to cut off this area as we saw earlier and now takes it. And now a push to Warsaw is happening with the purple team basically encircling the city. And now Polish PM is essentially being held at gunpoint by the citizens saying just let them get what they want, but they're not going to do that and they're going to continue to fight. There's a major breakthrough over here in France, which surprisingly enough, I said this wouldn't happen, but here it is happening. And now French troops are just kind of walking through Germany. They're not doing too much because they can't do too much because you know germany has a fairly large army but yeah they're gonna kind of push around take a few cities do this and that and yeah that's it with this distraction though the blue team is able to pull off a counter offensive in czechia and from here they managed to capture prague but are unable to take over the sudetenland area we have poland doing its own counter offensive against the purple team pushing back up here in the north and even threatening to encircle the encirclement which is um has that ever happened in history before well it has now because the encirclement has been encircled and from here the encirclement is destroyed so war is all safe for now and Poland is able to push back the purple team as well as the red team in the north. Over here, we have Germany pushing back France because France was not supposed to do that. And they are only left with a little bit of German territory. Now we have the red team starting a new offensive, this time from the Prussia area. And this is going to be devastating for Poland because they didn't think to reinforce this upper area. They were too busy on these two fronts to kind of realize that this right here was still a front. And the Germans take that to their advantage, smashing through and destroying the Polish military infrastructure. From here, the purple team takes over all this area, meeting up with the Germans and and sending a truce basically saying that we'll split it and this is poland's biggest mistake because now they are crumbling we have romania ditching poland and leaving the war because they don't want to lose any land for some un unforeseen reason we have slovakia exiting and with that also you know their little invasion right here and now the power of rebellion and also greater foreign influence is coming down and crushing poland they lose warsaw to the purple team whereas the red team manages to collapse and invade through the rest of the country we have czechia losing prague once again and this time surrendering and just like that poland is lost so france is the only country that remains and they're going to send a truce with germany saying uh, just leave us alone and we'll give you your land back germany's cool with that so that's what they do and we can now take a look at this polish peace treaty which did not lead to a polish victory i think in the other civil war videos all right so looking at this peace treaty here actually isn't too much to look at because germany is going to annex the german polish rebellion thingy um yeah so this was poland and it is now germany and germany also took over the sudetenland from czechia which is going to cause the unification between czechia and Slovakia. Ironically enough, this looks like it might be leading to another world war. Then we have Eastern Poland here, who now has a pro-Eastern government and is in love with Russia. Ukraine might have made a mistake there, but uh, Zelensky magically disappears and a pro-Russian dude is put into power there. So they join the CSTO too, much to the despise of the Ukrainian citizens. France and the UK are going to make an alliance known as the Allies. Italy is going to go ahead and partner with Germany. Austria is going to unify with Germany. Slovenia gets annexed by Italy. Albania does too. Wait a minute, something's wrong here germany invades and captures all denmark and goes to war with the allies norway's taken japan invades korea and then china but they'd probably failed that to be honest and now the germans have gone through the lowlands and they're going to france and they took france okay this is looking oddly familiar just in the wrong order oh now germany's invading poland now they're at war with the csto oh boy okay well i think that's over with so i hope you guys did enjoy this video and uh, if you did make sure to leave a like on it subscribe to this youtube channel and uh, ring the bell but you can't ring it because it's not a real bell so you just gotta tap it after you do that leave a comment saying whatever the hell you want to say because i will uh i'll definitely read it i do read it actually i read like half the comments sometimes but yeah once again thank you guys so much for watching if you are hyped for the alternative future of the world season 2 series also put that in the comments and i'll see you guys in the next one and of course, thank you to all the super fans. This includes Patrick Clauser, Yo Moma Moma, Texan Cowboy Cheese, Kylie Speaks Plays, Poland Country Ball, Dimitri, DW Cool Dude, Nevada Garbage Trucks, Yakko, Soviet Ball, and Serminator. Once again, thank you guys.